Hello, and welcome back to Copilot Learning Hub. Today, we have Josh with us explaining how to use Copilot in one of your favorite tools, Power BI. Hey, Josh, welcome back. Thank you. Hi, Donna. I'm glad to be joining you today to show you how you can use Copilot as a data analyst to supercharge your way to creating beautiful reports with Power BI. I love that. And especially as a business user who often gets handed Power BIs and expected to do something with it, I am extremely excited for today's session. So what have you got? Right. So let me bring up my screen. So now that we've already landed this data, what if we just needed to create a report? We need to get started and start you know, building reports on top of this or on top of this data. So a data analyst wants to start answering some business questions in regards to this data. Mm -hmm. So we need to empower them to start creating reports with ease, right? Yeah. So directly from here, you have this new report button that you can always click, and that's going to take you to Power BI. And from Power BI, we can now start building our report. But again, it's the black can blank canvas, and we might need a little bit help. We, we might need some help to get started. Oh, uh, yeah. I hate Think that of black these, canvas yeah. in Power BI. It's very intimidating, right? Because you don't even exactly. know where to even start. Because what we're, what we're trying to do now is data storytelling. And a blank canvas, mm, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So once we're here in Power BI, mm -hmm. uh, we can get started by I'm, trying to even understand the kind of data that we're working with. So I can begin by asking Copilot to summarize for me the model of the data that we're working with. So I'll go ahead and ask Copilot, please summarize the model of the data that you're working with. And that comes back with a response that, you know, this data set is providing a comprehensive overview of a company sales, inventory, customer interactions. It can be used to track various aspects of the business and, you know, goes ahead and gives you the relevant information for you to get started. Okay. Perfect. Now that we have now that we have an idea of the kind of data that we are working with, the kind of model that we are working with, I can ask Copilot as well. You know, I don't. I still don't understand wh where do I get started. I can ask Copilot. You know, suggest what kind of content can I be able to build using this data? You know, oh, I like Copilot that. to give me a little bit of a head start. All right. Mm -hmm. And it comes back with a few, it comes with the sales performance analysis, and inventory management, behavior, customer behavior insights, and delivery efficiency tracking. So we can work with the inventory uh, management overview. So I'm going to click the create button. And here Copilot is going to go and create uh, an initial draft of, of a report in Power BI that I can be able to get started. This takes a couple, a few, a couple, couple of minutes. I like this a lot because Power BI is a tool that almost everyone has to use at some point, right? Either you're creating a Power BI report or you're consuming information from a Power BI. I know how to consume information from a Power BI, but creating one from scratch is up there in terms of things that are intimidating to start because there are so many ways to tell these stories. Exactly. And yeah. when you don't even understand the data that you're working with, right. even it becomes a, more, a, a, a bigger challenge. And Copilot helps you understand, like, this is the data you're working with, right. and this is what you can be able to do with it. And can you able to see just getting started? I wouldn't come up with these in two minutes as Copilot actually did. Right. Right. Okay. We want to see it comes up with a complete, um, complete Power BI, um, complete Power BI report. Mm -hmm. With different with different items, and I can always at any point I can always be able to um, to jump in. Like I can I can jump in and come here and make changes. So like for example, I can come and and rename for this visual and say you know total customers. So you all you always the one in control. Yeah, I like. You can always jump in and and make changes uh, as well. Now we've gotten a fast overview, but suppose I needed to get an executive summary of what it is that we've actually created. Exactly. I can go that ahead. That. Exactly. I can go ahead and ask Copilot, please give me an executive summary of whatever we have on the report. And Copilot is going to go and leverage the visuals on the report to create for you an executive summary as well. I like that because people who are consuming this report Often, you know, we just get a sent a link like status of right now, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff for Build and Ignite. Yeah. Um, 
and I get a lot of Power BI reports handed to me. And half the time it's, is this good news or bad news? So, exactly. And yeah. you can be able to see Copilot comes back and it gives you an executive summary. So these data refers to two key factors of transactions by customer name and transactions by stock item name. And the thing is, you have this little button right here that can help you narrow down to understand where is it getting this info from. So just imagine you have a report with so many visuals and you really want to understand, you know, like where is this information coming from? So you have these um, sort of reference references right here and you can be able to navigate down to where Copilot is actually getting that information from. I love that because then you're able to say, people be like, how, where did you get this info? You've got your source, cite your sources, always in AI. I love that. Exactly. And your sources are directly from the visuals on your Power BI report. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So you can actually take that also a step further. So I'm going to delete one of these visuals mm -hmm. and I'm going to replace that with a narrative. All right. So what a narrative allows you to do is now bring in that information directly into your report. Mm -hmm. So I can select the copilot right here. And I can go ahead and as well generate an executive summary or even get a, get a suggestions of likely questions from leadership. And for this one, you can start with an executive summary and ask it to update. And now that is going to come directly into your report. Okay, that's clever. I like that part where what questions might executives ask from this report and then put the answers right there. Exactly. Yeah. That's clever. I like that. Right. Yeah. Right. As that is running, let's mm -hmm. head back and look at what we can do for data scientists and data engineers who live and breathe Python. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm going to switch back to this lake house of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch back to this lake house of mine, and directly from here. We have our tables. You always have this option to create a new notebook for a new notebook for you to start interacting with with the data inside here. Okay. Okay. So that's that goes ahead and creates a new notebook for you. And then and then once this loads up, see what we have we got here? Oh, I look battle. Oh, okay. Exactly. And so when you click that, it allows you to install the relevant packages for you to interact with Copilot inside the notebooks. Oh. And so once that, once this has finished executing, you can now begin to interact with Copilot again. You can ask for, you can ask it to load data from your lake house. You can ask it to give you insights from your data. And anytime you're stuck and you need some insights from Copilot, it always gives you some ideas to get started with directly from the left pane. I love this because you can actually do, it's it's actually like a, for devs, I would say a coding companion, but here it's a data companion to help you put together whatever you need to do. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, let's switch to or one that I had already created mm -hmm. and one that was already running and we can see what we can do with Copilot here. You know, so this is the first time, time I'm understanding the end-to-end -end of the, let's just call it Copilot and Fabric family of things, right? Um, because to those of us who are not data professionals, these can sound extremely confusing, like Copilot and Data Factory, Copilot and Power BI, Copilot and this, Copilot and that. But each one is specifically for a job role to do a specific task. But you're showing us how they would work together and how you would have this interop interoperability of the data between Copilot and this and Copilot and that to solve very specific business problems. So this is very cool. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, needs to... It's wrong. few more seconds for you to get started. So you need to install the required packages for you to leverage Copilot within right. within the notebook. And that's what happened. That's what that's exactly what is happening here. So you don't need to know which packages to install. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment you hit the Copilot button, it's going to tell you, hey, you need these packages and then you just need to run. 
Uh, you just need to, to execute the cell and it's going to install everything. Okay, that's cool. I like that because you're not trying to go look through this repository and find exactly the right packages. You're just saying, here's what I'm trying to do and it'll find you the right packages. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. It's a few minutes and it's done. Think so? Perfect. Yes, it's done. So it can tell you everything, the usage, the commands to use. Right, so we're here and I can start by asking Copilot, please, I've loaded this data from my lake house. I've loaded the sales orders table and I've also loaded the sales customers table. So I'm asking Copilot, can you, can you do the join for me? Can we, can we do the joins? Let's the DF customers. So we click in that and then, and then run that. So what happens is Copilot always has the context for your data frames. So we have data frames that we've defined in our code, but it also always have, uh, it also has it also has context to the tables that are also in your lake house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to attempt these again and see whether we are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. It actually generated the code. I'm the one who didn't see it here. But here is the code. It generates the code for us, the joint data frame, where it goes ahead and joins the customers, the DF orders, the that orders data frame and the customer's data frame. So I can I have this loop button here mm -hmm. that can go ahead and insert the code directly. There you go. And it goes ahead and executes. Um, goes ahead and executes that. And we can be able to see the joined data frames. I can always jump in and continue writing code. I love that. That is very cool. So you're able to use it to solve very specific problems. You have to know the problem you're trying to solve. And this is where I really want everyone to understand this, where this is not a tool for people who do not know what they're doing at all. This is a, only. This is a very good tool for people like Josh, who actually are experts, who know what the right answer looks like. But this is a very good shortcut to get there quicker. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes sometimes you just want to work from the notebook. You can always mm -hmm. close this pane of copilot mm -hmm. and work directly from the notebooks and just to use we call them the chart, the, the chart magics, mm -hmm. and just type chart and go ahead and I can ask Copilot, suggest, suggest visualizations mm -hmm. for the joined DF. So I can also interact with Copilot directly in line without needing to open the without needing to open the Copilot. Uh, pin right here. And you have other options. You can use the chart, the percentage percentage chart. That's going to give you uh, output. Just see, goes ahead and suggest. And you can also use the percentage percentage code, which goes ahead and generates code for you. And I can say uh, maybe uh, I can just copy the first one. Mm -hmm. And and go ahead and execute that. That is very cool. And, they have, and there it goes and generates for you the code that you need. I love that. Yeah. And then you can always jump in, fix the code, uh, because, you know, AI can make, make mistakes. You have to review the code, fix the code, and then continue. I love it where you can use AI to generate the code or you can use AI to help fix the code. All right, exactly. So that's the capability of the different co-pilot experiences within Microsoft Fabric from data integration, uh, using data factor with yeah. data engineering and data science with the notebooks and even creating Power BI reports with the co-pilot inside of Power BI. Josh, it is so cool. Okay, 
I am biased personally toward this one because how often do we get Power BI's, especially on our team, handed to us and we have to make some sort of decisions based on it. And being able to just basically ask, like, give me a table of contents for this report or give me an executive summary, that is a game changer. I think that is amazing. Exactly. Yeah. It makes it very fast for you to actually understand. When someone gives you a Power BI, uh, access to a Power BI report, you can actually just click on it and start asking questions based on the content that is on the Power BI report. Okay. We're going to drag you back here at some point to explain more things in Copilot and Fabric. But till then, thank you so much for being here, Josh. And thank you all for joining us for Copilot Learning Hub. See you next time.